Hello, welcome to IVC. So my name is Sebastian and I'd like to show you the IVC mounting solutions. So here at this area we show our residential solutions. Over there you can see a very a brand new product. This is the new IBC system that is really easy to install because you just slide the modules inside. It's specially designed for the European market for a very aesthetic looking PV generator. A normal installation system on a roof is based on two rails about one, around about one third from the top or for the bottom edge of the solar module. The disadvantage of these systems is that you have gaps in the module field. With this system you just put the modules in and you have a base rail and a top rail between the solar modules. And the clue of this uh, system, the system, the normal systems on the market in that construction way are designed one rail for one height of the module frame. And with those flexible systems from IBC you have the possibility to add a small piece into the rail. You can add a small piece into the rail and with a small piece you can flip one from one height to the other height. So especially for the installation um, companies, they have the advantage they just need one rail on stock and a small adapter. And it makes it very easy to, to care about all the different model heights. Okay, good. Then let's go over to the commercial solutions. Yeah? What is it's an on-roof system? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's a uh, good question. It's an on-roof system. Um, the European roofs are quite special. It's not like UK or US roofs, they are pretty standard. So in Europe, especially in Germany, you have different types of tiles, different colors and so on. And this is also a little bit a challenge. And for that purpose, we have um, different roof anchors or roof fixings. When you come over, I can show you. So, okay. So, this is one example. This is a typical German tile roof. Normally, the tiles are laid on top of this uh, wood batten, and this is a roof hook for German, German or European tiles. For other types of roofs, like trapezoidal metal or corrugated roofs with these waves. We have different types for installation or special clamps for all types of roof that we can offer. The system above is always the same. There is one rail from the top to the bottom and with 90 degrees angle the installation for the, for the solar modules. Yeah. One, one rail for one column. One rail for one column, that's right. Uh, roundabout, it depends a little bit on the snow loads and the wind loads. When you have low snow and wind loads, you can extend the, the difference, you can save a lot of installation materials. And with this system, we can supply a whole static calculation and this is done by a special tool. There is a planning tool, you put in the area where you want to install the system, then they calculate automatically all the snow and the wind loads, and then they design the distance between the necessary, so that you have a very economical calculation, that you don't have to put too much material on the roof. Yeah. And, and those brackets, they're designed for what size batten? This one? This is for the, the standard batten, so in Europe the stand is between 60 and 80 um, millimeters wide. This one's. This one's. No, this one. It's fixed here, on, this, on the big ones. This one you can have. So um, we have different roof hooks. They are higher than this one, and then you can care about all the different shapes. Yeah. We have also some. They are flexible. You can adjust them. So here we are in the area for the commercial roofs. Especially commercial roofs are quite critical, and we have to care about a lot of things when installing on a commercial roofs. The typical commercial roof in Europe is a big 
it's called membrane roof, means this is a plastic foil, below is an insulation layer, and on top of it, such kind of systems are installed. The huge advantage of this system is, you don't have to drill holes into the roof construction. You just add the system on top of the roof, and it's just fixed with weight, with ballast. And we have very wide um, base rails with a special rubber mat below. And so we, we, there is a, a good grip between, or a good um, adhesive version between the rail and the roof. So we can save a lot of ballast because the ballast capacity of the roof is often limited. So, and in practice, the installers just lay the rails on top of the roof, install their modules, and then they, they, um, before installing, they add the, the weight, and then they install the modules. Yeah. The system is designed like yeah, a Formula One car. It's tested in the wind tunnel. And due to the forces, the wind forces, they try to lift the system from the roof. We change it in pressure to the roof. So they press, the more wind we have, the more they press the, um, the system on top of the roof and keep it on the roof. Okay. Those systems are available in different angles, in different shapes. For example, this is an east-west facing system, very popular in Europe. We can offer it as well as a south facing systems in different angles. And there are some quite small solutions um, only this one is for the fall protection. So each roof um, has to be maintained. And when you maintain the roof, you have to secure that the worker isn't gone over the edge. And this is the part where they can fix it. And we can calculate how much weight is possible. And we offer this little detail for completing the roof for other applications as well. OK, good. Question to that kind of this aluminium. Aluminium. Yes, the system is completely made of aluminium and stainless steel, yeah. because just with aluminium there are complex um, uh, geometries, and um, this is only can be done by aluminium. Yeah. But Do you have a system for a corrugated roof? That Yes, we have for corrugated roof, we have another type of system. It's a bit similar to the one we see over there. Yeah. So this is for flat roofs. And let's go over to the solution for inclined roofs. Just as an information, those systems are some system we picked because they are new. We have a lot of systems for different applications and there are a lot of possible we can do besides those systems we show here. This one is new for trapezoidal metal roofs. And yeah, the highlight of the system is, in practice, you have different expansion rates of the roof and the aluminum. And to care about this, if you don't care about this, the screws will be torn off at a certain level if the rails are too long. And we designed a system this is flexible within, so that means when the expansion rate of the aluminium is higher, then it can slide into the clamps. It's fixed, it can be lifted, but it can slide and can work within. And so you secure the stability of the system on the roof. Yeah. This system is, can be done as a roof parallel, if you save all the, the, this, um, these parts, then you can install your module in parallel, but in combination with the same parts that we use for the aero fixed system, you can do the same for east-west or south-facing directions. And this one is also a new um, installation system. This is for those kind of industrial roofs with an inclination. The same roof type that we see in, um, in the flat roof systems we have for inclined roofs, normally up to 20 degrees inclination. And we use the base rails of the Aerofix system for a roof parallel installation. And this system is not fixed, just the weight of the solar module and the, and the rail is enough that it cannot be fall from the part. You can try it, this is 
quite stable in practice. We add some weight to secure the high wind forces, but then it's done. There is no penetration of the roof. There's nothing you have to care about. There are also some small details. For example, this is our clamp we use normally for rooftops. And when an installer is working on a rooftop, so it's not quite handy because you have this inclined roof and you have just one hand free. You take it, you clip the clamp and then it's fixed. So, and at last, you, you just screw it and fix it. But all this, those are a lot of small details we developed to make it easier for the installer on the roof. Yeah? To make the work safer and more handy. Uh, you use a lot of extra materials uh, because of the wider base. Yeah. Does that mean it's uh, more expensive than other systems? Or yeah, <laughs> um, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than systems with a small base rail. That's clear because there's more material inside. But we have to consider the whole package. The first systems we saw on the market, they used the small base rails. And when we go to the operation and maintenance, then you see that the module, uh, the base rail, is pushed too deep into the roof construction, because the roof construction isn't uh, that is a little bit flexible. And then you have water inside, and then in the end, your roof will be damaged with the small ones. And so, this is our philosophy: use a wider one. You can spread more load into the roof. You have a more homogeneous area where you spread it and you have better grip. And in the end, you save ballast and weight. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The more material you, you have, then the higher the, the price for the so real components. More, more expensive upon installation, but over the long term, you say it yeah. compensates. About installation, I wouldn't say. So the installation, the systems are all designed to install, install it very fast. The material costs a little bit higher than the system with a small rails.